Yo, what's up guys, it's Ormsky here, how are you all doing and welcome back to my career mode, I hope you guys are having a good day. It is at the moment 10 to 7 in the morning, so good morning, I have um, kind of been up all night, I've been editing and recording and doing a couple of other things, uh, but today I'm actually going to Milton Keynes, uh, just let me say quickly, we are playing um, Stoke in this episode and we are also going to play Swansea. Now Begovic has a very good game as well. Um, and whatever happens here happens um but yeah guys so today i'm actually heading over to milton Keynes. so i apologize that there's actually only going to be one video by the way danny ing's actually here he goes up for a header and he gets injured there's nothing i can do about it he just falls and lands really awkwardly in it it it's a really bad injury to say the least um and we're gonna have to step up without him i'm sure a jose perez can do um, but yeah, so today I'm actually heading to Milton Keynes. It was um, like my great uncle's birthday, who we are quite close with. So we're going to go see my great uncle, um, and it's also my great uncle's, like my great uncle's grandson's birthday as well, and that was yesterday. So I think we're going to check that out. Um, but yeah, guys. So, unfortunately, we do concede the penalty. Disquiglio runs right into the Stoke player. He just sees red. He turns into a ball and he just goes charging straight forward. He's not thinking. He's just rushing. Uh, he was up for that morning. I don't know what he was doing. He was clearly like... Or either, either that last night or he was like... And just like really drinking those Red Bulls and Cokes. Red Bulls and Cokes? He was drinking... Yeah, uh, no. Red Bull and Coke? No, vodka and Red Bull. That's what people drink these days, ain't it? I don't know. I don't really tend to go out much, so. No, uh, no, actually, my preferred my preferred drink, honestly, is uh, Disarano and Coke. Tastes like Dr. Pepper. It's very, very nice. Either that or a nice scotch. Scotch is always nice. Just saying. But yeah, guys. So, um, there's only going to be the one episode today, and I do apologise uh, for that. However, tomorrow I will be bringing out two episodes. Now, um, or I um, might do three. I'm not too sure just yet, uh, however, so what I might do is, if you guys want to see it, um, I know I said I wouldn't post any VFL or FGL, but we do have a good game from yesterday, um, where we played VFL. So if you guys want to see that, we get a nice win in that, if you guys want to see some Pro Clubs League, um, just to get you by in the meanwhile, then I am um, happy to post it, but I, yeah, I'm not too fast, it's up to you guys, you guys can choose. So yeah guys, we go through a quick little squad report here because it's the start of the month and uh, realistically we just have a couple of players that go up but Perez does go up to a 75. We do end up messing around with the formation going with one up top and we're going to try and see if Perez can actually handle the pressure of being a solo striker. We know when we played Danny Ings with this, he was awful. He was dropping too far back and I couldn't use him whatsoever. So I thought, yeah, let's try uh, Jose Perez. I've got Riviere and I've got uh, Facundo Ferreira but... Perez, say his name, and the guy with the engine, the guy with the foot, he's he's proven that he can be a solo striker too. I think this is a role that really, really does suit him. It's something that he has been caught, I, I feel as though he has kind of been hinting that he wants to be the solo striker from the previous episodes. I don't know if he's been linking with Danny Ings that well, really. So, yes, we do put him alone up top, and he does have a good game. He gets a goal. He tries to lay off, uh, I think it's Cabela there, and it goes narrowly wide. He has another opportunity here. He takes a big touch, but the referee actually calls it back. He plays the advantage. Now, in the Southampton game, he didn't do that. He, 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 didn't, he didn't even play a foul for us. So, yeah, that was a thing. And then in Hull, we scored and he didn't call anything. So, wait, whatever. But Cabela, he's saying, do you know what? It's my time. I haven't scored in a while. Um, uh, let me just get my head together. I want to see what my attributes are. Um, I want to see exactly where I've been putting this. And he places it perfectly. Well, I wouldn't say perfectly, but it was kind of to the middle of the goal. But it was, it's out of the keeper's reach. He ain't doing anything for that. And he scores a wonderful, wonderful free kick. Something that... You know what, I, I'm not very good at free kicks, especially on this FIFA. I find that they're really inconsistent. You can put the same amount of power, and you can put the same amount of direction. You can aim it in the same place, same well on the analog stick. And for some reason, they don't always go in the same place. You'll score one, and the other one will go miles high, miles wide. Um, and it doesn't look very good whatsoever. So, 
Cabela goes on an amazing run here. He does take a little pop shot and it does get blocked. I just wanted to show you that because it was a really nice little run that he does have. But we do end up winning this game 2-0, I believe. Riviere runs through here. I've put him as a solid striker, guys, and that's what he does. He, I, I thought, you know what, let me put Riviere up. He's got a lot of pace let, and he makes really good runs. Let's see if he can do anything. And he completely bottles the chance. However, we do win and we are now second in the league. I think we're behind by a point. I'm not too sure, but we do have Leicester in the next episode. As you guys do know, they did let me down in the transfer deadline day. So if you do want to check that out, guys, then there's a little box right here. I'm actually going to link you straight to the transfer deadline day where you can check out exactly what happened if you don't know already. If you want to see the previous episode, then I've actually got a playlist. Um, you can click on the playlist and you'll take you straight there. So again, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please do drop it with a like. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Ormsky, guys, and I'm going to catch you later. So peace. Make sure I'm covered this. There we go. Bye.